Welcome everybody back into Nerd Sesh. As always, I'm Carson Brabber and alongside me is Logan Camden. And today we are joined by Joel and Drew from Pick a Side. We're going to be doing some head-to-head trivia. Fellas, how are we doing today? I'm doing great. You know, I can't wait to get into this trivia. I know we got some questions that are geared towards the teams that we like. I'm just hoping I get those right because if not, I'm gonna be <laughs> like a fake fan up here. No, those I, are I understand. Legacy questions. Nah, I am had to do a little bit of homework before we got up here, of course. Can't come up here and embarrass myself. But I'm doing great. I'm excited to be with you guys and appreciate you guys having us on. Hell yeah. Okay, so this is going to be the same format as we've been doing the last couple of weeks for those of you guys who have seen it. Ten questions for each team. We'll split into two teams, split up the nerds. So we're going to do Joel and I versus Drew and Logan have any ideas for team names? I think we have to be two and on, right? I mean, I think if that's Dude, your boy, I, like I think we got to rock I, with it. I like that one. I also was thinking something lefty oriented because Ooh, be good. we're we're both left handed. I was just thinking very basic, the lefties, just real calm. The lefties, I like two and on though. Up to you, Logan. I'm a, I'm a team player. No, I'll rock with the lefties. I like it. All right, let's do it. I like I that. I, are are you guys the righties? Yeah, you know what? Why not? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why not? I like this. I like this. Now we got to rep- yo. We're representing. We're representing a lot here, Logan. We got to come correct. I got to put on for Manu Ginobili and Michael Vick, man. There we go. There we go. And my boy Tua, of course. A history of suppression of lefties that you guys got to try to overcome right here. Amen. It's a lot of pressure. Amen. It is. It is. Okay, Logan, you want to ask the first question? Yeah, all right. We'll get it started. Uh, as you alluded to, a uh, team question for you. So, guys, I need you to name the top five Jets quarterbacks with the most career passing yards. Joe Namath. It doesn't have to be in order, correct? It does not have to be in order. Namath is one, though. Chad ben Pennington. Uh, Pennington is here at number four. Vinny Testaverde. Ken- Keno is number two. Vinny's number five. You guys just got one to go. Well done. Mark Sanchez. Yeah. Oh, it's not Sanchez. That's, ah. that's a good guess. That's who I was thinking. This too. guy was this guy was pretty prominent. I remember after uh after Namath left town, uh, this guy was supposed to be like the the Jets' new savior. So we're looking seventies then. Old school. Yeah. Mark Sanchez is a good guess. He's the first guy off. He's number six. Damn it. And dude, look, I don't mean to shit on your franchise. Dude, this is a horrible <laughs> list. Like past I'm gonna be honest with you. I I'm trying to think and I don't I don't think I know at all. Dude, like to put in perspective, Brett Favre was there one season, right? He's 16th all time for the franchise. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what number is Ryan Fitzpatrick? I'm genuinely curious. Fitzpatrick's number nine, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> That's he was good. He was very good with the Jets. And Fitzpatrick has the best Jets quarterback season ever. He does. Yeah. And shout out, maybe my favorite football player name of all time. Uh, at number twelve on this list, Dick Wood. Great Jets okay. quarterback. Wow, that's a great name. <laughs> that is a good one. I can't think of anybody after Joe Namath. I'm trying to. Think. I just cannot think. I, dude. We uh we didn't mention this in the uh, uh before we started. We do have one hint per question. So if you yeah. guys want to burn it, uh, yeah, I can try to help you along. Let's use our hint. No doubt. Okay. The only reason I know this guy is because my dad talked about him, and I watched some old NFL top tens. He went to Alabama. Um. Something he had in common with Namath. This guy has two first names. Um, he's pretty nondescript. He also played for the Saints. Can't be a Manning. So no, not a Manning. Um, it's hard not to be involved in the question, dude. I don't know. For some reason, I just keep thinking about Craig Morton, but. He's Cowboys and Broncos. Not Craig I, Morton. You got the right era. Well, yeah, I know. But I. He, uh, he, I don't want you guys to get the first one off the bat off Rip Ron. This guy's got a funny name if you abbreviated his first name. Like if you made his first name a nickname, it would sound pretty funny. Carson, I think. What's the first letter of his name? Can that be a hint? Yeah, R. Oh, man. 
listen, y'all shouldn't feel bad. I don't, I don't this know. Is, this, this is tough. Yeah. And man, I, I Carson's nerd such flag has already out. fallen. And my nerd such flag has already fallen. Oh, okay. It's Richard start. Todd. Have any of you guys oh, ever heard of him? Oh, yeah. You know what's crazy is that I was thinking first name Richard. Oh, yeah. Once you said short it, once you said short, I was like, all right, it's got to be dick something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. Richard Todd. Oh, uh, I have heard of him, but I can't be too pissed about that one. All right. That's no, just the joke. I wouldn't be. You, man. I wouldn't be. Okay. Gentlemen. Five quarterbacks have thrown for 10 passing touchdowns in a single postseason in NFL history. Can you name them? Okay. Off rip, I know Joe Montana is going to be here. 11 TDs to no picks. Yep. Joe Montana did is jo- here. Did Joe Flacco throw 11? He did. Okay. Pull. Let's go. I think, uh, let's go ahead, Eli go Manning. I think he was a nine. I believe Eli is nine. Yep, that's correct. Because Stafford also comes to mind, but I think he also threw nine. That's exactly right. All right, all right. So just three to go. Okay, Brady was there forever. Brady he had to do Brady, it once, Yeah, right? he has to be there. Brady did it twice. Okay. I wonder. I don't know if Drew Brees had a good enough run the year that he, they beat the Colts. Throw it out there. I like that guess. All right, Drew Brees. Not a bad guess. He had eight. Okay. All right. We got to lock in. Two more. What about um? Terry was never a great regular season QB, but he balled out in the Super Bowl. Is Terry Bradshaw here? Terry Bradshaw is not here. Um, Nick Foles. That's an interesting guess. Foles is not here. I think maybe he had seven. Steve Young had six tutties in the Super Bowl. Is he here? He's actually not. Wow. Wow, um, that's yeah. What about my boy John Elway? Elway not here. What about your other boy? Yeah, I don't know if Payne did to be honest with you cuz this is do they have to have won the Super Bowl? No. But the two guys left. Well, they did. Both made the Super Bowl. One of them did not win the Super Bowl. What about Kurt Warner? Yes. Okay, there is it is. Exactly. Very good guess. Very good guess. Who I was talking about. And then the last one, fellas, I'm going to be honest, is pretty intuitive. He and Brady are the only guys who have done this twice. Mahomes? Patrick Mahomes. Bruh. There you go. Oh, dude, if... Already? Already dude, twice? Yeah. Please, Russell Wilson, come back, like, healthy and good this year and, like, give the Chiefs a few losses, man. I can't this take is... it anymore. See, now, these, these are the comments that I'm here for. We don't need <laughs> the Chiefs running this back anymore. No one needs that. Well done, Logan. Well done. You carried that one. No, likewise, man. That was, that was a team effort. All well right, let, let these up. All right. Uh-huh, um, let's go. Gentlemen, I got another New York-themed question for you. I got a few more like this. Can you name every Knicks player to average 25 or more points per game in a single season? There are a few throwbacks, uh, Carson. I think you should nail. Yeah. Okay. Carmelo Anthony, Patrick Ewing, Julius Randle. Yep. Bernard King. BK, Ewing, and uh, Mello, all multi-time guys. Mello did it three times. Ewing did it twice. Was Allen Houston one of those guys? Ooh, Allen Houston's a good guess, actually. He's not here, but we're gonna Allen have is a bucket. real throwbacks. Richie Guerin. I think we'll have Jerry Lucas here. So Guerin is here. You have one more major throwback, not Jerry Lucas. Okay. Willis Reed? Question. Willis uh Willis Reed actually not here, surprisingly. Well, I do have an you have a, do not have another uh throwback big man here. Throwback big man, okay. It's not McAdoo in his one year there, is it? Dude, McAdoo did it three times. Oh. Oh, I thought he was only there wow. for a year and a half. I guess it was two and a half. Wow. All right, you guys oh. just have two to go. One other major throwback that I know you know, Carson, and then. Is it one recent not... player, like in the last 20 years? It is pretty recent. Yeah, it is last 20. Amar Stoudemire. Stoudemire yeah. is here. All right, one to go. Nice. Good shit, Joel. Last guy is not Clyde Frazier, is it? Dude, it's way more obscure. I only like, <laughs> I only know you would know it, Carson. He's kind of, okay. he did it in the same season as Garen. Oh, so this is way back in the day. Dude, 1962, bro. Oh, goodness. 
Does the last name start with D? Not D. Um, let me see. I guarantee you I will know the name, but let me see if I can summon it. How many players total is it? I think it was eight guys total. Eight, okay. His initials are WN. WN? Yeah. Willie Knowles? Yes, sir. Nice. (laughs) That's ridiculous. Goodness. It is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. I literally would not have gotten that without without the initials. Wow. Okay. You just go, go back. Do you just go back in like 60s and look at rosters? Dude, I don't even know. Like, yeah, sometimes <laughs> it's just all in there somewhere. <laughs> like, I've just looked at so many different rosters and lists over the years that it's it's in there. Sometimes I don't even know, but it's it's normally in there. Okay. After that one, you're stamped. You're a basketball mm-hmm. encyclopedia. Well Thank done, you, man. I appreciate that. You got it. Okay. I got a basketball question for you guys. Obviously, Let's do it. we were just at Summer League. Wemby was the talk of the town. He was just the fourth French player ever drafted in the top 10. Who are the other three? All right. I think I could do this. Bilal right. Koulibaly. Oh. That's actually correct. I was bonus point thinking before this year. So yeah, <laughs> now there's uh, now there's five. Frank, Frank Milikina. Yes. In the top ten. Are you counting Neek as a French guy? Is Dominique Wilkins here? Not counting Neek. <clears throat> but I am counting one guy who you would consider. American, maybe, but he played for the French national team, had a very famous French father. Is Nicolas Batum or not? I don't think Batum was that high. Batum was not a top 10 pick. Famous father. Oh, mm-hmm. wait. Um, uh, uh, Joakim Noah? Yeah. Dude, okay. Good pull. Yeah. Good pull. Now, the last one is very recent. It, oh, God. Because they kept saying these when they were having the conversation with Victor. That's the reason why I should know this one. I am. We'll, we'll take our hint. Why not? We'll take the hint. Okay. This guy has been uh, sort of a meme for his lack of production since he got drafted. I'm on. Tony Snell? Snell? Not Tony Snell. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, you said meme. That's the first one that comes yeah, to mind. Not that much, but like. He was, but he was the out there running just a few years ago, and uh, I um, don't want to give this hint. Killian Hayes, it's Killian Hayes. Yep, bang, Dude. there we go. Good, you job, said seven, man. you said seven. I knew immediately, Killian. Dude, okay, here we go. Now we're back, Logan. We're here, we're here. Teamwork Group makes a dream work, one. man. Well done, bro. I was yeah, not getting thanks, that man. myself. Killian That's all right, Hayes. Killian Hayes, man. Pistons legend. Dude, I am on Killian Hayes talk. Like, I have no idea how I got there. I get videos about Killian Hayes, like, jokingly saying he's the GOAT all the time. Are you happy about that? Yeah, honestly, I am. Okay, all right, all right. (laughs) All right, gentlemen, I got two more New York theme questions for you. Let's see what you guys got for me. (laughs) Five Jets players. Uh, Can you name the ones with the most career sacks with the franchise? Muhammad Wilkerson? Wow, dude, Muhammad Wilkerson's the first guy off of the list. It's a good guess. Gastineau. Gastineau is number one. 22 in a single season, too, man. Yeah. Jonathan Vilma. Ooh, Vilma, middle linebacker. Let's see, is he close? It's not. Vilma's not a bad guess. The Jets haven't had that many great pass rushers, honestly. Sheldon Richardson? I, think, I kept thinking about Sheldon that's Richardson. Not, that's not a bad guess. Richardson's a good guess. Um, you've got a guy who I actually didn't know spent a decent amount of time with the Jets. I associate him with another franchise way more. Bart Scott, or no? God, I love Bart Scott. <laughs> what was the uh, uh, what was the quote after that playoff game? Uh, can't wait, can't, can't wait. wait, can't he wait. Said we associate him with another franchise. He was a Ravens guy before. Um, I'm trying to think. No, no current Jets players, right? Like no Quinn and Williams, 
no current Jets players. All of these guys uh, after Gastineau, post two thousand, like they've played oh, um, okay. mostly mostly two thousands. Abraham Lucas. Oh, you're and you're close with that. Damn it, John Abraham. Yeah. Who'd, who'd you say? I said John Abraham. John Abraham is here. He's the guy I was talking oh. about. I associate him more with the Falcons. Right. Number three. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So I'm thinking about the Jets elite defense of 2009, 2010. So I know that the defensive line was Sione Puha, mm-hmm. Mike DeVito. Um, I'm thinking about the edge rushers. I just can't think about the edge rushers right now. You've got two more guys who were on that defense. David Thomas? Not Thomas. Uh, you got an interior guy and an edge guy. Who was our interior guy that year? I think of that Jets team, I think immediately of the secondary. So I can't blame you right now. The secondary and, was a calling card. And then you like guys unbelievable. And, and then you guys have a guy who's pretty well known for one very significant play. When was that play? Like early two thousands. Ah, damn. pretty pretty infamous play led to uh it, it definitely had a butterfly effect, uh, so to speak. So right now we have Muhammad Wilkerson, Abraham Lucas. We need three more. Or John Abraham, yeah. You John got two Abraham of them, Abraham. three to go. So that means and you said there's two players that are on that twenty oh, nine team. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yo, I'm trying to think of the edge rushers. You know what's crazy, time. Joel? You're the defense guy. That's why I felt like, all right, he giving him a defense question. I feel good with this one. This one's tough. David Harris? Oh, I love David Harris. David Harris is a good guess. Dude, man, I, dude you're, I, you're pulling some throwbacks, man. Is it Brian Thomas? Not Brian. He's very close to making this list. Him and David Harris are one, uh, two of the first five guys off. Yeah, because those are two defense guys. It's not Sione Puha. He's not one of those guys, right? Not him. Um, Dude, I have been useless. I, my mind has just been blank. <laughs> you came through for minutes. the next one, man. Don't beat yourself up. <laughs> one of these guys was a first-round pick in 03. He started his career with the Cardinals, but I definitely think of him with the Jets. Um, shares his first name with a great all-time uh, wide receiver. Antonio No. Keep going. Same Sorry, era. Bro. Same era. Okay. Julio. Same era. Calvin. Julio. Hmm. Calvin. Calvin Pace. Calvin Pace, number five. Nice. There it is. Okay. Bruh, the interior one is messing me up. The interior one's tough, dude. He was there nine seasons from 2000 to uh, 2010, and then he went and joined the Patriots for one season before retiring. Oh. Was he good with the Patriots or no? Uh, no kind of, kind of so-so. Definitely a a Jets lifer. And then the other guy, you guys have to get. I'm not letting you get past this okay. question without getting this guy. <laughs> Is that guy oh. more modern? Uh, not more modern, but he just has such a significant Better. football mm. like play associated with him. He's known for one big play. Is he in a Jets ring in a Ring of Honor? I, I don't know. Let me see. I'm trying to think about what the Jets did in the early 2000s that was even significant enough to have like that's what I'm a wondering great too. Moment attached. It was. To it, it was. It was one play. It has to have to do with Tom Brady in some way. Hmm. Okay. Let me just name this the Jets defense: Darrell Revis, 2009, Kira Rhodes, and Tony Camardi. I don't know if he was there that year. He but- was. He was. Um. David Harris, Brian Thomas, Sione Puha. Mike DeVito, Calvin Pace. Bro, I feel like Sean Ellis. Yes, good pull, dude. Thank Let's God. go. Let's go, Joel. Let's right, go. You guys are look, I'm telling you, you guys are gonna get this. You guys have already I laid the breadcrumbs out. Carson kind of almost okay. walked up to it. It has to do with Brady, but it's not tuck rule, obviously. No. Come on, guys. Is it what is it the play that oh I don't know. Dude, did he injure Drew Bledsoe or something? I'm crying. He did. That's hilarious. That's who, exactly it, is? who it is. What? Wow. 
Also, screw him for doing that, man. We would have never had to deal with Brady, bro. It would have been Drew Bledsoe. Oh man, I don't know who did that. Really? I dude, I I'm I'm feeling my lack of Jets knowledge here. And is this player an edge or no? I think he was a linebacker. We might have to throw in the towel, bro. I you don't know how long man. we've been on this. So it was John Abraham, Muhammad Wilkerson, Calvin Pace, Sean Ellis, and Mark Gassinow. Well, wasn't Wilkerson not in the top five? Wilkerson wasn't was he off. just off? It was, uh, it was uh, Pace, Gastineau, Abraham, um, Ellis, and then this guy. It wasn't right. I'll give you guys one more hint. Yeah, I think our time might be up on this one. It's I cannot, devastating. Cannot I mean, say I you have, guys didn't remember. I have nothing. What's the hint? All right, I'll give you guys one more. Um, I got hoes calling. Um, Mo. His name is Mo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First of all, uh, let me just say something related to Mo Bamba. Logan thought that pre- former Bruh. President Barack Obama walked by the studio when we were in Vegas because <laughs> <laughs> Jason Jason Tim, who does a volume show, he was like, I think Mo Bamba walked by during my show. And then we were like, okay, cool, whatever. The next day, Logan's like, "Did you guys hear that Obama was there yesterday?" And uh, we we're uh, like, "Honest what are mistake." You talking about honest mistake. Honest mistake, but like maybe a little critical thinking that, <laughs> yeah. that Obama didn't just waltz by. Anyways, okay, so guy named Mo. Logan. That's rough. All the stars were out, man, and like nobody they reacted. Were. Jason goes, "Yeah, Obama walked by," and I go, "No shot." <laughs> nobody reacted. <laughs> nobody reacted, bro. Security would have been nuts. Security would have been crazy if Obama was there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, bro. Uh, Shares his last name with one of the greatest inside linebackers ever. Mo Lewis. It's Mo Lewis. Bang. Okay. All right. Here we go, lefties. Four guards in NBA history have averaged 17 points per game in a title run at age 22 or younger, who are okay. they? All right, Magic. Just get them off the board. Magic twice. Uh, 22 uh, or a- Andrew Tony. Ooh, not Andrew Tony. Not quite young enough, but I like it. All right. I, let me not ask for my hint yet. Let's just keep naming guards. Tony Parker? Tony Parker. Okay. Very good guess. Go. Very good guess. That was a good one. Nicely done. I, Isaiah wasn't 22. I can't say Isaiah. Um, I'll give you. I mean, there's another one that is like almost magic level obvious. Guard. Mm-hmm. Magic level obvious. Almost. Kid. No, kid wasn't. Kid was older. You said title run. So did they win the championship? Yeah. No. no they, had to, oh, they had to had, win. Yeah, had to win the chip. Yep. Oh, Jerry West. Not Jerry West. Okay. Got his about, ring. Forget they were going to college back then. Oh, D Wade, D Wade, not D Wade. Okay, so with shooting guards are included. Yes. Okay, Jordan. No. Nah. He didn't go to the finals until twenty-seven. What am I thinking? Twenty-two. I have to remember that number. Twenty-two. D Wade was an older prospect. Yeah, that was yeah. a good one. Yes, guard. He won a year three. I'm trying. I'm struggling to think of guards who wanted that. I mean, that's tough, man. That's uh, especially at that young of an age. Curry was older. I'm very upset at myself. <laughs> we you guys are. Two, go- you guys two. are going to be. You're. You're overthinking. We just had two to it. go, right? I am. Yeah. All right. You're saying. I'm thinking. You said guard, so automatically I'm thinking point guard, but shooting guard. He said magic level obvious. I know. That's why it's upsetting me, Kobe. Kobe, there you go. There Twice. Good boy, right. dude. Damn. I had to lock in for a sec. I had to lock yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. Now the last one is really the key to this question because okay. he's the toughest one by far. Also, very modern. Very modern. Very. Guard had to win the finals, correct? Yep. Okay. Um. All right. All right. All right. Seventeen. Had to have won. Very modern. All right, let's just start thinking of teams that won recently. No, Jamal Murray's older than 22. Is it, um, is it Fred Van Vliet? Okay. 
not Fred Van Vliet. Ah, oh, that was a good guess yeah, though. Because I'm thinking, dude, like, but Fred it's... averaged 14. Fred, uh, Fred, Fred wasn't that much yeah. of a scorer in the finals. Well, uh, and his this is for the whole playoff run. So his playoff yeah. run before the finals, he was. Yeah, he was average. He was clanging. He just had to have that Facts. kid, and then he was. Facts. The kid. The kid turned him up. That was real. Unlocked him. Um, um. Okay. Let's start thinking of recent winners. Okay. So the Nuggets won. Uh, Lakers won. The Bucks won. Um, Golden State won. Person, is it in the? Pa- is it since the Mavs title? Interesting. Oh yeah. Good. Oh yeah. Who am I blanking on, dude? Oh, no, Wait, it 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 was the Mavs title or since? No, no, since that. more Mavs. recent. All right, significantly so more recent. All right, Heat. Spur- How old is are Jamal we, Murray? Is that Jamal we, Murray? Is you've it? already you've named the no, team, Drew. You've already named the team. I'm angry. <laughs> this <laughs> is this is the toughest one. All right, that's fine. It's not Kyrie, I, I named, right? I named the team. It's not Kyrie. Bang. Oh, that was a good <laughs> guess. That, that, that was a, a guess. great guess. Because I think Kyrie. I think was Kyrie was a little bit older than twenty-two. Yeah, he was a little bit older. Twenty-three, twenty-four. So yeah. yeah. All right. So I, I named the Bucks. I named the Nuggets. It's a guard, right? It's yep. a guard. The Spurs, Kawhi's not a guard, and he didn't average 17. They didn't the OKC didn't win. They have to have won. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Words cannot describe how disappointed I am in myself right now. This is don't this is don't be because you don't you be. backpacked for the football. You did you did your thing for the question. I gotta I gotta do my part here. And he's saying that I named the team already in his post Mavericks. All right, I just mm-hmm. have to think of I just have to think of the teams. Okay, Miami Miami won in 2012. No way that the guards well, were. Yeah, that's what I'm saying because you got D Wade, you got Chalmers, yes. then yes. you got the Spurs. But that's why he was the number two scorer. You're saying. 17 or 17 points. He just needs 17 points. 17 points. I believe he was the th- he was the third leading scorer in this title run. He might have even been the fourth. This 22 is killing me. Now guard. Just think of guards. That one. Milwaukee. There's no one younger than Jordan 22. Jordan Poole. It's Jordan, Jordan Poole. It is Poole. Jordan Poole. Great job. Great job. Holy sh- dude. That's good. That's you that got blows, did you know it was Jordan Poole, Joel? I wasn't gonna think that, but I was thinking Clay Thompson. Okay, but younger than twenty-two. That's why Clay was older. Curry obviously was older. Well done, Logan. See, look, I I told you to keep that faith in yourself. I yeah, believe. Keep the faith. Keep the I believe. Carson, that's, and now a, that's a good question too, man. That, that was a really crazy? good question. That's that just was a great insane. question. Like that, that is, is such a short insane. list, and Jordan Poole was on it. Yeah, and now wow, the bro. fall from grace is real, unfortunately. <laughs> Hey, he's averaging 25 next season, guys. Take that to the bank. He is on 42% and 33 from three. <laughs> so true. All right, guys. We're going to test your uh... – this this one's tough, but they're, they're all-timers. New York has produced a whopping 426 NBA players that were born there. Can you name the top five New York-born players with the most career points? Kenny Kareem. Smith. Kareem is number one. Uh, the Jet actually not in the top five. Let's see. I like how I, I'd, I'd really love to know why Kenny the Jet was your first guest. <laughs> <laughs> He's a New York legend. Kemba he Walker? Is, he is. Okay. Dude, he is naming some small timers. Kemba's number 21. I feel like you're overthinking one of them um, specifically. I don't think he'll be this high. Earl the Pearl? He's not top five, is not he? Not Earl the Pearl. Shout out, though. Um, One of these guys I didn't know was born in New York. The rest of them are all bona fide New York legends. Yeah, one of them I think you're overthinking. The Fall Marbury? Not Marbury. I do have a Marbury question for you later. That's interesting. Ooh. <laughs> That's like super New York centric, man. Ugh. Um, you said I'm overthinking it, so that means he's I, super for hard. sure. I I would uh, classify that for sure. Currently. He, I oh God, am I allowed to give hints too? Yeah, yeah sure. Knock yourself out. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, he's not playing currently, but he is definitely current to us. He's one of them guys we would be like, yeah. He's like, no, oh yeah, yeah. I oh, feel yeah, definitely. Okay. Like three of these guys are like, it's and not. Carson, I'm also shocked that you didn't get this. Also, 
It's Kobe not Mello. Mello is here. Oh, Mello. Yeah, it's gotta okay. be. Yeah. It's gotta be. It, it, like, that's the first person that came to mind for me. Yeah, Joel, yeah. that's two. Next time I see you, bro, take that. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, Julius Randle's from New York, or no? Julius Randle? I don't know. He's not from New York. Hmm. I'm not, Ju- not Julius Randle. Cat is from... Hold Earth. up. Oh, Dr. J. Dr. Dang. J. There it is. So we got three right now. Two to go. Another bona fide also, like, pick up a uh, legend too in New York played in New York as well. And then one of the other guys, just like one of the greatest players ever for sure. Jamal Crawford's from Seattle. So it can't be him. Marbury's actually 16th on this list. That's crazy. Patrick Ewing. Is he from New York or no? I think Ewing is from the Bahamas, the right? Bahamas. Yeah. yeah. Or no, no, no. He was born in Jamaica. Yeah. You said one uh, of the greatest players ever. So. Yeah. Like, no. Mm-hmm. No. My- yeah. Oh, Michael Jones from New York. Jim Jay's number two. North Carolina, what? Man. What? I thought he was from Carolina. He is from North Carolina. He was born in New York, though. Born in New York. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Born in Brooklyn. All right, you got a guy from uh, also from Brooklyn. I uh, New York legend through and through. Also played on the Knicks as well. Was and a- he played? Was it the two thousands or the twenty tens? Pre two thousands. Is it Clyde Pre- Frazier? Not Clyde Frazier. Mm. Patrice Freewell? No, it's Freewell. Ah. Joel, you're to- you're throwing out some good names. Just it's unfortunate. I'll say that. Is it Willis Reed? Not Willis Reed. Ah. Yeah, I don't know where some of these dudes were born. So, like, we're are just... we talking nineties? Played eighties and nineties. Yeah. This guy got buckets. This guy was a it's bucket not be- getter. It's... No, it's not BK. It's Bernard King. Oh, wow. Nice. Number five, dude. dude. All right. This one is going to be in Drew's wheelhouse, but it's a tough one. Logan, actually, okay. I think you'll do pretty well with this. You, you might end up having a crucial poll or two. Can you guys name me the top five rushing leaders for the Broncos since 2000? Since 2000. Okay. Top five. I wonder if Willie McGay he will be on there because he played a he had a good role with us for a little while. But I, the first name, CJ Anderson, for we're sure top five. I'm gonna for say CJ. Sure, CJ Anderson number four. Okay, CJ's um, a little bowling ball man for sure. No, CJ CJ was a legend <laughs> for us. I love CJ. No Sean Moreno, right. number two. Okay, there we go. Oh. Clinton uh, Portis, number the, three. Derek, well done. Well done. I'm I'm trying to remember when did Terrell retire? Oh, he was I'm early. Because he... he was crucial for us, of course, in our championship runs. He was a Super Bowl MVP. But you're saying post 2000. TD, TD led in the early 2000s, two years. It might not be a bad guess. All right, let Terrell Davis. Why not? It's not TD. He was under 1,000 yards after 2000. He was super hurt. Yeah. Uh, His and... career was very short. Yeah, he played only 13 games in 2001 combined, and then he was done. And making it to the Hall of Fame was solely because of how dominant he was I mean, in his prime. Dude, he's one of the highest peaks ever, though. Like, Yeah, for sure. God. It might be a recent running back. It's not Philip. Philip Lindsay isn't here, is he? Is it Philip? Six. He's oh, off by that 41 is, I, yards. Philip Lindsay is actually one of my favorite Broncos ever, just for his story alone. And the way that the Broncos disrespected him mm-hmm. after after we, I believe who was I think it was, I don't know if it was Monty Ball or maybe it was Javante. I forget. There was another running back that came in and kind of just took his touches away. That did not sit right with me at all. It's... Colorado kid, back to back one k yards. That that really was unfortunate that we kind of just let him go like a piece of trash because he didn't. Disagree. Running backs, bro. Running backs just get. Yeah, not wrong. Screwed. You're not wrong. But then he left us and was definitely nowhere near what he was with us. Yeah. How many do we have? Running we have back. four of the five. You have three of the five. So you have is, number one and number five left. Is Mike Anderson here? Number one. Oh, well done, sir. Oh. Well done, sir. So we have Portis. We have No Sean. We have CJ. And Mike Anderson. And, and Mike Anderson. Okay, so we need one more. Okay. This is definitely the toughest one. He is a like early mid 2000s running back. Early mid. That's before I was along for the ride. Is it it something Mm. Davis? No, but Logan, I think 
you we did have that this video. guy in the well somewhere because yes, he had one 1,000 yard season for the Broncos, 04 to 06, and then 08 he played in Denver. It's not my it's man Ron not, Dane, is it? It's not Ron Dane. I guessed him for the Broncos video too. For what it's worth, Drew, you mentioned McGay he earlier. He's eight. Yeah. So very eight, good yeah. guess. Yeah, McGay he was very good for us, especially that year with Tebow. Oh, he carried that offense. Everybody attributes those. But, I mean, Tebow had some bro, late game he heroics. Fumbled, he fumbled against the Steelers. I'll never forget that. And I remember just thinking, oh, this one don't is even, over. Don't even do that. Don't even do that, bro. Sorry, bro. Sorry. One of the best moments in Broncos history. I don't care if we lost by 100 dude, I, the next game. That Dude, that game. It dude, ruined oh. the young Logan Camden. Bro, we <laughs> had to go to Denver that year. We were 12-4. and four. We had the best defense in the league. Best and they made defense. us go to Denver, bro. And, and you then, also let up 316 yards to the guy who couldn't throw a football to save his life, allegedly. Pala, yeah. <laughs> Palomalu and Ryan Clark both dropped in the box. We got one-on-one versus Ike Taylor. Everybody knows the rest, man. Ugh. Yeah. <sighs> Understandable, though. It's first down. We're just non we're, – we're a running football team, and we decide to pass it on first down, first play over time. That giving me goosebumps as we speak about it. Let's think of this last guy, though. Let's lock in. I I would love another hint if you wouldn't mind. I also would, yeah. Yes, okay. Let me think. It makes me mad because I know we did the video on this on TikTok. Yeah, we did. I should know this guy. That's why I know you have it in there somewhere, Logan. Okay, this guy, I'll describe him, was 5'11", went to Oklahoma State. He uh, sort of like co-piloted the backfield with Mike Anderson for a couple years. They were like 1A and 1B, especially in 2005. And uh, Logan, he shares a last name with another Broncos running back of this era, so I know sometimes you conflate the two. Is it also Anderson, bro? It's not, right? Mm -hmm. No. It's not. But the guy you get him mixed up with has something in common with Mike Anderson. Is it? It's not Mike Davis, is it? No, man, dude. But Logan, I need you here because I'm blanking hard, man. You're on the right track. I have given you the hints you need to find this answer. Similar last name, co backfield with Anderson. <sighs> I'm blanking crazy. I think this one's I think this one's riding on Logan's shoulders now. Cause this is the sort of thing that like if you haven't been quizzed on Broncos running backs within the yeah, last few months, this no. one's tough. Did this guy play anywhere else? That's that's my final ask. Not really. He mm. uh played one year with the Lions in between Eesh. his Broncos years. Man, no, is no. there another Mike blank Broncos running back, Logan, who you think of? I literally know there is because it's, you've said you it just, before. You just got it. You just, you, it's Mike Bell, right? No, it's, he shares a last name. <laughs> Mike Portis? Mike, Mike no. Davis? Mike Anderson? No, 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 no. Damn. no. The hint <laughs> is, okay, his last name is Bell. Tatum That's Bell. what he has in comp. Tatum Bell. There you go. Logan, well done, man. That was that. Man, dude, Let's thank you for like <laughs> thank, you for, Bell. thank you for holding Listen, we'll my take, hand as we I was got gonna say, there, we'll man. take a spelling out of an answer, but hey, end of the day, we'll take that fourth point and we're not gonna look back. Yeah, no, listen, some of these are tricky. Some of these you gotta have your hand held to them. So a, du- a dub is a dub. Uh, yeah, gentlemen, a gentleman dub is a dub. Tom Brady <laughs> had a record of 31 and 8 lifetime against the Jets. I'm sorry about that. Uh, oh, no. He only beat the Buffalo Bills more in his career. I'm also sorry about that. Uh, nice. Can you guys tell me every Jets QB to knock off the GOAT head-to-head? Brian Fitzpatrick. Yes, sir. Mark Sanchez. Three yeah. times, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm a legend. <laughs> Fucking legend, man. <laughs> King Slayer. <laughs> Chad uh, Pennington? Chad Pennington did it twice. Did Vinny's cocky ass ever do it? Vinny did it in the game that Bledsoe got knocked out of, I believe. So we're, so we're counting we that. We are counting that. You have one more to go. One more to go. Mm. Is there a more recent one? 
Can only Sam Darnold will never beat him, did he? Yeah, no way. No. The Patriots. My goodness, it was bad. No, Darnold yeah. is seeing ghosts. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Poor guy. Bryce Petty. <laughs> Shout out Bryce Petty. <laughs> Shout out that Christian Hackenberg, sad. too, while we're at it. God damn, man. Jets quarterbacks. So, yeah. There's I can still... only think of one more, and I Are doubt they... he beat him. Kellen Clemens? Not Kellen Clemens, man, dude. You're throwing some deep cuts out there. Yeah, man. Going shut, deep up, shut up, Michael man. Vick. <laughs> is it post-2010? Uh, it is post-2010. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm thinking of mm. McElroy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Craig McElroy, Alabama That's legend. Exactly. Mark Sanchez, post-2010. This guy this guy is for sure better than all those guys. Um, Is still currently active, too. Okay, I think I got the answer. Oh. Still currently active. We already named Fitzpatrick, so that's out. So Mark Sanchez, um, Greg McElroy, Bryce Petty, Darnold, Fitzpatrick. Was it after Fitzpatrick? Like twenty fifth after the twenty sixteen season? I believe it was Smith. Three. Geno Smith. It's Geno Smith. Ooh, Bang. Yep. Yep. Good yep. Pull. Cooked. That was the name I was thinking too. Well done, Joel. Man. Yeah. Joel is he's carrying on the Jets questions. I, Joel, I, you are cooking. The mm-hmm. Jets questions come along. And you've been cooking up. Yeah, I should do that. <laughs> you should. Okay. You should. I'm gonna go with a question that I had that is very related to that one. This is really gonna be Logan's wheelhouse. Uh, can you guys name every quarterback to start a game in the AFC East, the entire division, in the 2007 season? How many QBs okay. are there? There are uh, eight. Okay, so Three. Uh, wait, that 2007 season. That's when that Brady was. Oh, that was the perfect 50. year for the yep. almost perfect for Brady. So, okay, yes, the answer is definitely gonna be Brady. Yep, only one the, for the Patriots. Bills. That becomes a little bit trickier. Is was Fitzpatrick the quarterback that year? No, is a it um, early for Fitzy? Is it Trent Edwards? Okay. Is he here? Yep, he's okay. one of nice. two Bills quarterbacks who started. Is the other one J.P. Lossman? Sure is. Logan, you're going <laughs> crazy right now. The this, uh, this is what he the, does. The, the Jets, that was not – that's too early to be Favre. Is it Pennington? Favre was 09. It might be Pennington. Pennington and yes. there's one more guy. Kevin Clemens. Yes. <laughs> yep, facts. <laughs> nice. And uh, then the Dolphins. I'm Culpepper? Good call. No. Oh, I um, thought that was right. Dolphins, Dolphins is one of the hardest, man. Dolphins Jay, Jay is Fiedler. absurd. No. How many quarterbacks for the Dolphins? There's three, and is, all of them sucked. Is Cleo Lemon here? <laughs> Cleo Lemon is nice. here. Logan. That's disgusting. I'm I'm blown away. Uh Trent Green. Yes. Okay. I, one more. One to go. Is it? I think Garrard was with the Jags. It's not David Garrard, is it? It's not Garrard. It might be the other I would one. Have, I would have loved it to be Dante Culpepper, to be honest with Dude, you. Dude, I, I thought that was Cole a hit. Culpepper started four games for Miami in 06, so just 06. one year off. Okay. All right, I don't feel too bad. It's not Damon Heward, is it? mm This dude... Did not have a lot of success. He never won a game as a starter. He was 0-4 in Miami. Then he popped up again for Washington in 2011, and oh, he was I'm... 0-3. Is it Patrick Ramsey? Oh, no, it's not. 2011, he played for for Washington, you're saying? The mm-hmm. year before, RG3. Oh, my God. Where did this guy go to? Can you give me where he went to college? Yeah, I was about to. He went to BYU. Oh no! The, my, the only BYU quarterback oh. I know is Kellen Moore, and that's way too early. Do you know Dude, it, Joel? Even... Do you think yeah, you know, yeah, it? I know it? I know oh. it. I know it. It's a good one. I know it because he was Zach Wilson's quarterback coach. That's a great. Oh, one. didn't do a very good job. No. <laughs> Ouch. I wouldn't expect him to. He wasn't much of a quarterback himself. You no, know, it's the thing is, the Jets hired him on their staff, Zach's rookie year. That's another great hint. And Zach started to play better. And then we didn't bring him back the next year. Oh, interesting. Logan, I have no idea. 
I've tried to cycle through the bum quarterbacks in my head and I can't. Now this one is really hard. Give me his uh like give me his height and weight or something, man. Six two two fifteen. Did he ever play anywhere else other than DC or Miami? He never uh started a game anywhere else. Let me see about his Okay, he signed with the Texans in 2012 and was released very early in the season, and he was briefly with the okay. Ravens. Never played there. Not Glennon. Ravens. Uh, no, uh, Gerard was a really good guess. I'm blanking badly. Ravens. Man, dude. All right. This is... Carson, this is my final question. Yeah. This just might be the dumbest question I've had. What face mask did this guy wear? Did he have a two bar? Or did he have a three bar? Uh, let's let's go look. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up Google oh, images. Man. He oh, had man. a Ravens. Twenty First of all, This guy is so Was anonymous. The third string that when I look him up. Like I looked up his name in Google Images, and he was not the first dude to pop up. Yeah, it's a it's a very generic white name. I'm gonna be honest. He uh, man, dude. he had a th- he wore a three bar. What? Who was your guess? Mike McMahon. No. Is it Coy Detmer? No. Ty Detmer. Neither of the Detmer brothers. I'm willing to give Logan one more guess, and then I want Joel to say it so he can yeah impress me. I'm it's not like man, dude. The, the one that's the I'm thing trying that's to really think of that tw- the, is Washington, right, dude? That's facts, what's messing facts. me up. But then he said 2020 Ravens, and now I'm just thinking about no, Lamar. 20, I'm thinking 2010. He's 2010. Been, yeah, I thought you said 2020. No, he's been done for a long time. Okay, all right, all right. Now I don't feel as bad. I just think about the Jets coaching staff in 2021. Man. Yeah, no, dude, there is nothing to feel bad about about not getting this guy. This is. If it wasn't for Zach Wilson, I wouldn't know who he was. All right. I know who is it, man? Zach. It's Call John. Me Joel. It's John Beck. John Beck. That is correct. Logan, do you feel bad about not getting yes, that or not yes, at all? Yes, yes, I know who John okay. Beck is. Oh, <laughs> I don't. He was actually one of the – it was Steve Young, John Beck, and Zach Wilson, the three BYU quarterbacks. Good poll, dude. I didn't know. I didn't know John Beck went to BYU. I definitely knew he was on the Dolphins. That's I mean, tough. that is as that's as tough as it gets. I only even give those sort of questions because Logan has a superpower with mid 2000s quarterbacks. But, <laughs> well, that's you a good poll, man. Facts. I used to watch Very BYU good. Sports Network, and John Beck would go on there and interview, and he'd talk about Zach Wilson and Rave about him. Like, yeah, man, I think he's going to be a great. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a quick break to play a game for you all. Some quarterback trivia brought to you by the new Netflix show quarterback, which is streaming today. This is a super cool new project that is going to give really unprecedented access behind the scenes and on field. All three of the quarterbacks featured in the show mic'd up in every game. Patrick Mahomes in the midst of one of the all time great seasons with obviously a Super Bowl win. Kirk Cousins leading the biggest comeback in NFL history, sporting a chain Marcus Mariota in a bit of a quarterback competition with a rookie. So you'll get a really cool inside look to the NFL quarterback experience in a way that we haven't before with this new show. But Logan, I mentioned Patrick Mahomes, Kirk Cousins, who we asked a question about last week. Today, we're going to do a Marcus Mariota question. Can you name me the leading receiver for every season that he has been a starter? Probably not, if I'm being honest, but let's give no, it a shot. I, I think you uh, can. There's what not about, that many. What about Kendall Wright? Kendall Wright is such a good guess. Just a couple years early there. Justin Hunter? Not Justin Hunter. I think that's also a little bit early. Kendall Wright was still there for Mariota's first couple of years, but he wasn't quite as productive. I might be early with this one too then. Nate Washington? No, but like all of these guys are roughly in the right range. Uh, Adam Humphreys? Not Adam Humphreys. What about Delaney Walker? Delaney Walker is correct. 
this year with Atlanta, is it Cordero Patterson? No. Is it uh, London? Yeah, it's Drake London. Correct. So Walker yeah. gets you 15 and 17. London gets you this year. Now you just need to give me 2016 and 2018. Two different guys. With Tennessee? Mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm thinking about this guy. I don't even know if he played there. Jeremy Curley? No. Uh, Dor- <laughs> I hope not. Doriel Green Beckham? <laughs> no. Not the great DGB. Were these guys any good? One of them was uh, hyped up. The other one uh, wasn't great for a leading receiver on a team. This guy was hyped up. He was. And he's had an okay career. A disappointment, though, I would say, overall. And the other guy, yeah, played two seasons with the Titans and was pretty productive, but they weren't exactly the best teams. This guy, was okay, a high, this guy was a high draft pick then, the disappointing guy? Yeah, and the other guy was a seventh rounder, so opposite sides of the spectrum. First rounder. Um... More than just a first rounder. What are, you, what are you getting at here? Was he like top five, top 10? A super first rounder. Yes. Uh... Oh, Logan, you know this. Man. Uh... What is this for Netflix, first... man? Come on. <laughs> a super first rounder. He was a top five pick. He was the fifth pick of the draft. Really? Mm-hmm. To Tennessee. Yeah. This is mind-boggling. In 2017. It's not mind-boggling. You're going to remember it. Corey Davis? Yes. <laughs> Corey now, Davis this last right. one. He just went to New York. That's. Yeah. I He hasn't lived up to expectations for a top five pick. The other dude. Oh, boy. <laughs> Went to college at Nevada. He started with the Dolphins, played four years there. But I definitely remember him as a Titan when I remember him at all, which is not all that often. Also played in Miami, played Miami before Tennessee or after? Mm-hmm. Before. What year was he drafted? Uh, 2012. I don't know why I'm thinking about like Aldrich Robinson right now. I don't think that's right. Um, Mm-mm. Slot guy, tiny guy. He wasn't tiny. He's a little on the small side. I think he played in the slot. This isn't Albert Wilson, is it? That's my guy. No, it's not Albert Wilson. This guy Do- was not named Albert, but he did have like a strange first name. Very close to a more common first name, much more common. I don't think I know this guy. You want to throw in the towel? I think I will. Well, Kirk Cousins didn't throw in the towel when they were down 32, did he? You like that, huh? You like that. No, you Kirk like Cousins that? never gives up. No, this is a tough one. It's Richard Matthews. I'm going to be honest. I was not getting that. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. A little bit of quarterback trivia. Definitely worth checking out this new quarterback show. Super cool. Like we said, really haven't seen anything like this before streaming today on Netflix. So go check it out. Here's a little sneak peek of the kind of stuff that you'll see in this trailer. I dedicate my life to football. I love to compete. At this point, all that really matters is winning. Why short to cousin, right? Clamp, who's that rip? Quarterback is more about the mental side. They're going to come at you. They're going to come back six days from now and do it again and again and again. From one draft bust in Zach Wilson to some NBA draft bust, can you guys name the top five number one overall picks with the lowest career points per game since the NBA-ABA merger. 
Yeah. Oliva Candy, Kwame Brown, Anthony Bennett. Yep. You got uh, four, one, and two. Bennett's one. Kwame is two. Oliva Candy's four. Odin. Odin's three. Nice. Damn, dude. Your and Ben was the first one that came to mind for sure. Let Carson cook, man. Yeah, <laughs> this is a Carson's throw- going crazy. This is a throwback, Carson. I mostly remember this dude. Oh, yeah. Because LaRue I'm- Martin's bum ass, huh? Not LaRue Martin. Uh, so this is since the merger. LaRue Martin would be on this oh, list. Oh, right. I was thinking since 1970. Since I think this dude that. got his shit rocked on the court one time, man. <laughs> oh, is I it think Ken he got- Benson? It's Ken Benson. Nice. Dude, you let's go. Dude, you demolish that question, bro. That dude, was a I needed, body bag. I needed to get in my bag, dude. I've been I've been cold today. I needed to get a little rhythm. You okay. just need any questions thrown your way, and you're good. Yeah, and that that's exactly right. Okay, here's an NBA question for you guys that I think is pretty yep. fun. Three NBA Defensive Player of the Year winners have never been an All Star. Who are they? That's I wonder was Ben was Ben Wallace an All Star for sure for sure. You I, I think one is recently right. Mm-hmm. Mark Gasol was he an All Star? I want to say yes, he, he was. Okay, recently, interesting. Oh, you got to oh, think. Uh, Marcus Smart, Marcus Smart, Marcus, Marcus Smart. Once you said recently, that was the obvious one. Okay, mm-hmm. now let's let's get into a bag a little bit more. What about um? Is that Tumble Spurs guy was. here, man? What is it like Michael Ray Richardson? Was he an all-star? Uh, that's not who you're thinking of. You're oh. thinking of Alvin Robertson, but he was an all-star. Okay. Are they all recent or no? One of them is 21st century. Another one is 80s. Okay. Is it the Bucks century? guy? Uh, no. Oh, are you thinking of Sidney Moncrief? Yeah. No, he was. No, Sidney Moncrief was an all-star. Yeah, he was like that. He was. He was very good. All right. If I, if we're talking 21st century, I know that Tyson Chandler won a defensive player of the year. I don't believe Tyson Chandler was an all-star. Oh, that's such a good guess. He's a one-time all-star. <laughs> okay, yeah. that hurts. With the Knicks, right? It was with the Knicks, yeah. He made it with the Knicks? Okay. He doesn't get the credit he deserves for revolutionizing rebounding, man. <laughs> <laughs> Was it? Didn't he have twenty rebounds in the first quarter of a game? Yeah, he just popularized like the tip outs, man. Now, and you said eighties. Yes, one eighties, dude. I I used to think for the longest time Carson knows this. I thought Tyson Chandler was the MVP of the twenty eleven NBA Finals for some reason, <laughs> dude. Uh-huh. I com- I completely blank dirt from my mind. I was going to say, and for a while, with the way that they were talking about Jason Terry and the way that he played in that finals run, you would have swore that he was the finals MVP too. Underrated but underrated true. core around Dirk. Like, I know everybody talks about how he didn't have any all-stars around him. That was a really good team, dude, oh, yeah, top to dude. bottom. That's... Marion was on that team too, right? Am I wrong? Jay Kidd. Deshaun Jay Kidd Stevenson. was on that squad too. Facts. Ron Question. Page, uh... mm-hmm. Question. Did Cooper make an all-star team? Oh, Ooh. there you go. Bang. Yes, did not. Bang. Shout out to my Lakers. I couldn't disrespect him. 21st century. Let's see. Dikembe's got one at the early part. Ben Wallace. Did Camby win? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good work, dude. All right. See, look, you've been caring for, for, for football. I have to do my thing with basketball. Man, I know more basketball than I thought. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. You've done well with the NBA. You have. I'm happy. I'm proud of myself. All right, gentlemen, we're going to throw it back to the NFL for this one. What quarterback drafted in the first round since 2000 has the fewest career passing yards? And uh, I will note, they I, cannot be active. I, I've, DJ I Manuel. think. Who'd you say? EJ Manuel. EJ Manuel is close. I he is number 10. Pretty confident that it's Paxton Lynch. Off rip, it's Paxton Lynch. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> Throw him oh. away. Throw him <laughs> away. Yeah, that's a who who are the other closest guys on that list? Up here. What's the num- question? Uh so least passing yards, uh, or fewest passing yards since 2000 by a first rounder. Oh, no. Uh Paxton's one, Manzel is two, Tebow's oh, yeah. three, uh, rest in peace, Haskins, Haskins. is four, and then 
Uh, five is is Josh Rosen still active? Yeah, no, I don't know if he's active. I don't know theoretically. If he's yeah, yeah, yeah. It would it would be Rosen or it would be Brady Quinn. Okay. okay. I'm yeah, assuming Jordan Love much. is not on the list. Jordan Love would be one if not uh, for the active. He's going to okay. show up this year. He's going to break out. In the I think so, too. Yeah, I don't know player. if you guys saw Joel's top 32 quarterbacks. He had Jordan Love 20. Okay. Who is that immediately be uh, above? I think he was above Tannehill. Let me know if I'm wrong. Tannehill, Mac Jones. Uh, I feel like those are the only real notable ones that I saw that I was just like, okay, that's kind of rude. Garoppolo. Oh, no, nah, he's one below Tannehill. He's above Mac Jones, Pickett, Purdy, Got it. Richardson, Bryce Young, CJ, Ritter, Howell, Garoppolo, and Mayfield. Wait, where do you have? Wow. Dude, where do you have Jimmy How high do you have Stafford? I, Stafford, to me, I understand he's unhealthy, but I'm just assuming he's healthy. I think he's 10 for me if he's healthy. Like, if Stafford is healthy. Stafford's washed, dude. Stafford's washed. Do Yo, Logan, Logan, you, you've been a, you're a super knowledgeable dude. I will give you that respect and credit. First and foremost, you're my partner. I don't want to disrespect you. Respect <laughs> Matthew Stafford. Respect Matthew Stafford. Dude, I think Stafford and Russ are both washed, man. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. This dude just came <laughs> off a championship run. One of the more impressive. Three comeback yeah. victories in the playoffs. The, uh, Stafford was amazing just one season ago. What have you done for me recently, though, bro? You know? Big reason, one of those, guy. man. What's... Bro is ruthless. All right. All right. Then Deontay, I mean... Deontay Johnson might not be a top 30 receiver, right? Like We don't want to do that. Deontay Johnson's top 30. Right? Well, what Maybe. have you done for me recently? There are a lot of good receivers. I'll give you that. That's fair. There are a ton. Yeah, I'm not with the Stafford slander. I mean, I do think he's regressed from the Super Bowl year, and I do think the health is a real concern. But also, it's like he was firmly in top five conversations after the Super Bowl year. And Definitely. like playing behind one of the worst lines in the league. Like, I don't know. It was just a brutal situation this year. It was. It was. Okay. I have a very straightforward question for you guys. Okay. Who holds the San Francisco 49ers single season passing yards record? Is it A, Jimmy Garoppolo? Bro, hit us with the multiple B, choice. Well, because I That's only fine. want you guys That's to have fine. one guess at it. Because other That's eventually fine. you would get to all these guys. For sure. B, Joe Montana. C, Steve Young. Or D, Jeff Garcia. Okay. Single season. I'm going to automatically associate that with a team that had Jerry Rice. Logan, if I'm wrong, you let me know. It's, to me, either Young or Montana. If it's Garcia, I'm going to be upset just because of how much of a wild card that one is. I don't know if Carson threw that in there to mess me up because I do think it's Jeff Garcia for some reason. That would be something. That would be something. You get one guess at this? Yeah. You get one guess. The thing about and you said Gar- you said Garoppolo also correct correct he's one of the yeah, options I, I don't I don't think if you were going to name a modern quarterback for the Niners I would have thought that it would be uh, Kaepernick instead of him so mm-hmm. it was more rushing though all right it was more rushing 90s. for sure it's just the passing yards in the nineties man I think I'm leaning I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm leaning Montana look if it's Garcia like I'm gonna be mad at my the, the way I'm thinking about it. If we guess Garcia and it's not Garcia, and it's Mont- I agree. I'm I agree pissed. wholeheartedly. If, if it's so, Montana and it's if we guess Montana and it's Garcia, so you're living by the mentality that scared money makes money because that's not the the expression don't, that don't, I'm don't familiar do this, with. Brett, don't. He's talking us out of it. Yeah, I, listen, it's to me, it's Montana or Young. Young was a little bit more rushing than Montana, mm-hmm. so that way you can I understand that thought process. It has to be a guy that played with Jerry Rice, in my opinion. It has to be. I think. Garcia's got an outside chance, but I think I'm leaning Montana. All right. I'm willing because you've been stellar football. I'm one. I'm with him. I'm going Montana as well. Final answer. Joe yes, Montana. Sir. It is. It's Jeff Garcia. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to help you guys. What's the so, what's the number? Did he get over 4K? I am curious. He, all of these guys are pretty close, to be fair. He had 4278. Next highest is Steve Young with 4170. Next highest is Jimmy with 3978 and Montana actually had the fewest in his best season oh, with 3944. Yeah, Joe so Montana going to start the conversation that Montana is overrated. He's not better than Peyton. Come on. Let's be real. Yeah, we just did that list. I do think he's solidly 3, but 
the regular season resume does not compare to Peyton's. To be fair, the year that he had 39-44, he missed one game. I think so, I saw you, I, th- I think I saw you guys list. You didn't have Mahomes top five. I should have. That was a yeah. messed up. Yeah, Don't I've, worry about it. You guys I've, did nothing wrong. Where would you have him? Uh, no, no. Mahomes, Mahomes is definitely no for him. He's saying that he's the best for of me, all time he's that he's ever seen. Oh, well, okay. I, mean, I think he yeah. is. I think he is at the highest peak ever. I t- absolutely think that. Like um, accolades aside, like me for me, it's Brady, Mahomes, and then you know, man, yeah. Man. Are you saying talent wise? I mean, for me, it's... no, no. Talent wise is Mahomes one, but like yeah. just accolades and mm-hmm. what you accomplished. I think Mahomes with two Super Bowls already he doesn't have the MVPs Payne has, but I think his runs have been better than Payne. I would put Mahomes over Payne for me. Don't wow. disrespect that 2006 run, man. Don't do it. I wouldn't personally. It's Rex. <laughs> hey, I beat, beat the goat on the way there too. Yeah, Mahomes. I kind of feel like I undervalued the fact that I just think he has the best peak ever. Because I was like, all right, if this guy retired today, where would I have them? And I had Rogers and Breeze over him because it's like you know almost 20 years of excellence for those guys, but honestly, five years, you know, reaching the peak of the sport yeah, more times sure. than those guys did in their entire careers. Mahomes, I think, definitely makes a strong case for top five. And Mahomes already has one of the best quarterback seasons also. He did lose in the AFC Championship game to Brady, which is unfortunate for him, but not his touchdowns. Fault, no, not at all. Frank, uh, who, was off, who was offside? Was it Clark? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah no, th- I mean – or was it D Ford? I'm, no, it was D Ford, right? Yeah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, last year we got into this heated debate on the podcast of, of whether or not Mahomes, if he retired last year, like after the season ended, if he was a Hall of Famer. And I was like, Yeah, like there's no doubt. Of course. Like, to me, to me and my thought process, this is of course was before the season that he was MVP and Super Bowl MVP. So my thought already- process was if we were talking about first ballot, and I didn't think that he was first ballot Hall of Famer prior to last season. Of course, we live in, was. I th- I did think so. First ballot, yes. Stafford was a first ballot Hall of Famer to me. Just came off a Super Bowl. Just came off an extremely impressive Super Bowl run. Three comeback victories. Has one of the all time leading. He's one of the all time leading leaders in yards, touchdowns, comeback victories. I thought he was locked first ballot. But of course, now here we are. Hindsight's beautiful. Patrick Mahomes <laughs> definitely first ballot. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. I should I should not have had Marino over over Mahomes too. I I underrated him, man. Hey, my my dad would have would have agreed with you. That's I a legend know. to the game. My dad he loved was... him too, bro. <laughs> it's like quarterbacks that were what more modern day quarterbacks, you know, of course are now. It's I look at Roger Staubach. That probably was like the first real quarterback that really took over the game in my opinion. That just showed arm strength, that just showed that he could just be the best football player on a field. I look at Roger Staubach, of course. You have uh Joe Montana, that's another legend. And then of course, Dan Marino. I mean, 5,000 yards before 5,000 yards became regular. That's why yeah. he he has to be in those conversations. Facts. And Elway, let's not disrespect the go. Elway's definitely in that conversation too. Don't do that, Logan. We're teammates. Come on, <laughs> you got. Oh my, my, Logan my, is Elway's... trying to sabotage the chemistry down the stretch. Elway's here. the go. Come my on. fault. My fault, dude. Yeah, Elway's <laughs> the greatest quarterback I Thank ever saw. You. Elway's um, probably top five. He's probably top five. Um. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right, guys. I'm yeah, gonna I don't move think on we really have quick. time. Uh, <laughs> I disagree, but I don't think we have time for that right now. Unbelievable. <laughs> Eight players have won finals MVP averaging less than 20 points per game. Can you name them all? Mm. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard is here. Tim Duncan averaged Logan. Can I hit this on the head? 18.6 in 2005. Is that correct? I didn't, I didn't write down Tim Duncan. I actually think he should be here. <laughs> Tim Duncan, I'm pretty sure should be here. Let me, let me confirm. This uh, is I, finals MVP under 20 points, correct? Um, yes, I think Duncan okay. was like 20.6 if I'm not mistaken. Damn. Uh, okay. There's another Bill answer. Walton. Pretty. Okay. Correct. Iggy. There yes, it is. Sir. That's the one I was thinking. Yeah. That's, that's a great one. One guy averaged under 10 points per game, which I think is ludicrous. We've got Chauncey Billups. Yep. Or no, Did actually. Paul no, Pierce Chauncey. averaged less than 18. Uh, Paul Pierce and Chauncey right above 20. Okay. Uh, We've got Wilt. Yep. Facts. Chamberlain. Yeah. yeah, Will Chamberlain was pretty low the year that he won. I think it was 14 points, something like mm-hmm. that. Don't Overrated. Like that. Yeah. Stop it. Who is it? That's crazy. 19 points, 23 boards. Okay. Is that Will? Mm-hmm. You guys have got uh, four to go. Dennis Johnson? Not, not DJ. 
Bill Russell is one of Cornbread is here. Bill Russell actually not here. No, because they only came up with finals MVP in 1969, which was his last title year, and they gave it to Jerry West because he was so nuts, even though they lost. Okay. Wow, I really We knocked off every team in the two post two thousands. Yeah, everything here is a throwback. Okay. You've got two seventies guys. I, I, I don't I don't even I don't even want uh well you gave me the decades anyways. My fault. <laughs> you know what you know I don't need that, Logan. Okay. Wes Unseld. Correct. He do nine points per game. Yeah. Wow. You won MVP too. I don't mm-hmm. know he won championship. So one other guy from the seventies, Bill Walton. I already got said Walton. that. Said yeah. that one already. Yep. Oh, Willis Reed. Correct. And I don't know if you guys said the other guy. You got one more to go by my mark. I don't know if you said him already. Pretty prominent. I was gonna say I have oh, a name, but magic. I'm not sure if it. Was... Damn. There it is. Nice. Yes. Okay. Good question. That was okay. a good question. Gentlemen. Here we go. Since Lock LeBron in. James joined the Lakers, can you name his top five scoring teammates? All right. I, I, I'd like to take pride in this one. Let's see. Okay. Anthony Davis, for sure. Number one. Okay. And this is by total points, not mm. points per game. Total points. Okay. All right. Top five. Hmm. I'm trying to get them in order. Let me not be messy. I wonder is is Russell Westbrook on this list? He is. He's number three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They mm. go to him, man. That's a shame. Now they they did scapegoat him. You're 100 percent correct. Malik Monk was only on the team one year. You said top five. Dennis Schroeder was on the team for two seasons. I'm likely to give him an, a spot as well. Yep. I'm going to say Dennis Schroeder, number five. Okay. Oh. Um. I don't – Reeves is intriguing. I can't say he isn't. Um, Brandon Ingram was only there his first year, although Brandon Ingram was great. Um, but, again, he was only there one year. Rondo is interesting, but, again, he was only there one year. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, like Kuzma, KCP. It's so KCP short. definitely is a really good guess. It's, KCP's I'm, I'm tw- number four. KCP's – yeah, okay, I thought and, so. And – and – Wait, question. We have one, three, four, and five. You're just missing number two. Oh, sh- Dude, it's Kuz. Kuz is, it is Kuz? number two. Wow. Wow. Yeah. A lot of disrespect get thrown, gets thrown on Kuz's name. He was great for us. You're 100% right. And he's gotten so much better. Mm-hmm. Like He has, bro. Year, he long. has. But yeah, like that 2019 year, especially when Braun was hurt, Kuz was putting up big numbers, and he was for just sure. stuck around a while. He has more games played out of that top five than anybody other than KCP. So well done guys. You cooked that Let's one. Let's go easy. LeBron's first year. Kuz averaged like 17 or 18. I he believe he did. He and did. Second year, he dropped to like 12, 13. Yeah. But he, he played his role. That one. I don't think I would have pulled some of those guys. That's okay. That's all right. Listen, that's what we're a team for, man. You, you pulled some crazy ones for the AFC East question for that alone. You're a legend. All right, gentlemen from Finals MVPs to Super Bowl MVPs. I need you guys to name every player who's won multiple Super Bowl MVPs. Patrick Mahomes. Yes, sir. Tom Brady. Yes, sir. Joe Montana. Yes, sir. Three to go. <laughs> okay. You got this. You got this. I thought about asking you guys uh, defensive players or non-offensive players Ooh. to win Super Bowl MVP. Corey I didn't know if that was going to be tougher. Not Aikman. Aikman did get mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Terry Bradshaw? Yes, that's correct. Good stuff, Joel. I'm trying to think. In this century, Peyton only has one. He only has one. Oh, oh okay. There you go. You just gave it to yourself. No, I didn't, though. Because mm-hmm. I went straight to Elway. You did. Trust but yourself. He... No, no, not he Elway. Trust one. yourself. Oh, Eli. There it Duh. is. Good job. Yeah. Good Thank job. You. Good Thank job. You, Drew. you got it. Look at that. You got that's it. That's exactly the support I needed. Yep. Was well, one uh, of the one of the guys on the list that he played for the Raiders? Not play for the Raiders. Okay. Okay. Marcus Allen definitely would have been a good guess too. Mm-hmm. Jim I mean, Brown is. Huh? Not Brown. No, Brown's I think they only won one. Yeah, that too. I was gonna say Stalock, but I know that's not right because of the like Harvey Martin 
Randy White year where they gave it to the two defensive Jerry Rice. boys. Not Jerry. Yeah, I think he's Jerry got, got one. one too. Yeah. yeah. Does Emmett have two? No, he only has one because Larry Brown has the third. Yep. What era? How many more do they? How many more do they need? Um, let's say he's closer to Jim Brown than Troy Aikman. Ooh. Oh man. Okay. Oh, e- I got it. I got it. I got it for oh, sure. It's I cash. Got it. It's cash. Yeah, it's an easy one. You play for the Colts? Not for mm-hmm. the Colts. Um, you got the right me. idea though, Joel. Keep building. Not the Colts. Keep building though. Yeah, you guys. You guys are gonna get this. You're gonna I get this one. It's one of them old time quarterbacks. Oh, Bart Starr. There Bart it is. Starr. Good job. Yes. Good job. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right, guys. This question is kind of tough, but really interesting. So okay. we'll see how you guys do. Can you name me the top five leaders in career block percentage in the NBA, which is the percentage of opponent two pointers blocked while that dude was on the floor? Okay. So think like most prolific shot blockers per yeah. minute, basically. Okay. I'm just going to go Olajuwon. Oh, he's actually not here, which is crazy. Okay. Uh, that bogus is crazy. Stat. Bogus stat. <laughs> well, no, this that's the thing. A... Like the list is a little more random than that because Akeem is 16. Dikembe. Okay. Dikembe is that's six. A good... Yeah, this is crazy. Wow. What's the... So, all right. Can you repeat the question to me? Manute Bowl. Manute Bowl. Number Manute one. Manute Bowl is number one, bro. Well done. 10.2%. It's like head and shoulders above anybody else on this list. Oh, God. Uh, so drew it's block percentage top five okay. all time what percentage of opponent two pointers did this dude block while on the floor uh what's that uh uh mark eaton yeah okay, dude good guess Where's well one? done number well four done. Here you go yeah i'm just gonna get i i i want my mind's immediately going to naming just the all the best blockers in the game I'm just going to guess Wilt. I'm going to guess Bill Russell. I'm assuming they're both not on this list. Well, okay. They definitely would be, but they didn't officially track yeah. blocks until okay. 73, 74. Okay. All right. So they would be one. That's when two, they both though, were dude. gone. Facts. They, what about, they were what literally Dwight averaging Howard? like eight blocks. Dwight Howard's a good one. Let's see. Where is Dwight? Dwight is. I'm also going to guess Jaron Jackson just because that dude's a block yeah, like machine. That. Dwight's 32. Yeah, I like the Triple J guess as well. The thing that you just got to think is shot blocking is not at its peak right now. Like the early okay. 2000s, oh, yeah. late 90s is when block numbers were pretty insane. And that's where the rest of this. What list... about Zoe? Yeah, that's dude. Number well five. Done, well done. Um, Question, Ben Wallace? That's a great guess. Where is Ben Wallace? He is, is 20. Is short for Sanders Ogowskis? Big Z, Big Z, not nah, <laughs> Big I'm, Z. I'm, I'm blanking. There Tyson, is a, Tyson this is the first basketball question that. Oh, t- not a bad guess either. No, it's not a bad guess. But not a, not a great one either. Just not just not correct. Yeah, Tyson Chandler is 65 on this list. Wow, David Robertson hat. Oh, good guess. David Robinson, excuse me. David Robinson is great guess number 11. Uh, Tim Duncan. No, Duncan is 28. Shaq? So, uh, Bill Bill Walton? Bill Walton's a really good guess. Where is he? Shaq is also not here. Shaq's 26. Bill Walton, I guess his numbers probably plummeted after uh, uh-huh. his injury. Why is he okay. not? How is he? Hold up. No. For some reason, maybe he doesn't meet like the minimum requirements for this list because of health. And I will say, Manute Bull technically didn't meet the requirements, but I just added him in the number one spot because I'm like, this is too ridiculous uh-huh. of a stat. That is a crazy number. So I'm trying to I think. will I will sort of volunteer a hint for you guys. One of these dudes has something in common with Manute Bull. Murasan? Are they just really tall? Ooh, 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 ooh. Not Murasan, but that is what they share in common. Yao Ming. Uh, no, but Chuck, who's the Chuck, next guy? Chuck oh. Nevitt. Not Chuck Nevitt. Wow, I can't even believe... <laughs> that, for real, he, that's a name that that's he's crazy. Seven, he's seven seven or seven six, yeah. 
this nah, is this what was just he did. on the crossover grid too. I'm blanking. He was a top pick, not number one, but no, Sean, mm-hmm. Sean two. Bradley, Sean Bradley, dude, is number two on this list. How many do we have right now? We have one, two, four, and five. So you just have one to go. Just one, okay. This guy was a three-time block champ in the early two thousands. Okay, and Marcus this is right. like. What he did. It's not Camby. That's such a good guess. Camby okay. is oh, number nine. This question's kicking my ass. <laughs> it's a tough up, one, bro. dude. Get up. You guys are on the verge, though. I think you're going to get this. Number three, three-time block champ in the early 2000s. You said it wasn't Yao Ming. Not Shaq. Not Robinson. Not Duncan. He's not an, he's not not an all-time great big man at all. Just a one-time all-star. He's played like, for eight teams. Damn, played you know, did you, did you just look it up? Oh, yeah, I just Googled it, yeah. Okay, I respect that. Well, my question. That's fine, yeah, 100%. Not yeah. my question, that's a fact. He uh, was on a memorable finals team, didn't win at all, and he played with another. Er, all right, did he? was yeah. he on the Cavaliers? No, earlier than that. Okay. All right, memorable final scene. Was he on that or, next excuse team? Me. He was He was there, but he was traded that season, I should say, for okay. a guy who... Was it Larry Hughes? No. No, I'm saying that was traded. That, that oh, they get, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no, er, no? Okay, earlier than it. that, he was got traded it. for a star on this finals team, though. So I'm sorry, did he go to the did he go to the final was he on that finals roster that lost? No, he was not. He was on okay. the team that season. He got dealt. Did not finish the season with that team. Interesting. So pre 07, we're looking at the Mavericks in 06. We're looking okay. at the Lakers. The Heat. The Heat are another one. That's me- that the Heat is memorable because D Wade, he averaged 36 in the finals. Yeah, we got to think they they had to lose the finals. Yeah, though. exactly. They they, oh, they lost. The they ship. lost. Mm-hmm. Got it. It's and it's not Dikembe. Well, it's not Dikembe, but Logan, this guy was traded for Dikembe. To the on the Sixers. Yes. Dude, if you don't know it, I'm. I have no is idea Aaron right McKee? now. No. Is it a uh, this guy? Well, should was... I know this guy? Nah. Okay, I appreciate the honesty, bro. Thank you. Think about Matt Geiger right now, man. No, 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 no. Logan, I like this guy. I'm I'm prone to guessing this guy. It was a Hawks Sixers trade. Hawks center, dude. Sheed. No, it's not Sheed. Um, this guy played both the four and the five in his career. Okay. One time All Star. Mm-hmm. Wow, his Twitter handle is literally Shop Blocker Forty Two. It's just number forty two. Interesting. Yeah, he wore forty two. Shop Blocker Forty Two. This is hilarious. Bro, I'm just thinking about Kevin Willis right now, bro. No. Do you want? Do you want me to give it to you? I don't, I, I don't, I don't know if I got it. I don't know either, man. How how tall is this guy? Six ten. Man, Logan, I'm. A, if you got one more guess, I don't have. Dude, it, we've man. we've gotten a lot of hints. Yeah, on the way for here, real, bro. Man. We have a lot of them. Um, forty two. The only one that comes was Kemp forty two, but again, I don't think that he was on that Sixers team or would be traded. Yeah, Kemp wore forty and forty. 40. Not him. I'm just struggling to think of guys who were on like the early Hawks team Facts. after he got dealt. But he was a three time blocks leader. That's the reason why I'm set at myself. Man, dude, I yeah, I don't think I. All it's right, not, it's not like Elton Brand, is it? No, no, yeah, I don't know who this is. It's Theo Ratliff, bruh. Ah, uh, okay. I did not know Theo Ratliff was nice like that. <laughs> what I he was, did, man. I was unfamiliar Shop with your game. Extraordinaire. <laughs> wow. So what's what's count? Are we tied up right now? Can you guys clinch with this? What's count? We're tied. Wow. That's a shame, man. <laughs> it was hard, man. That was tough. 
That was all. Right. That was block percentage one. one was crazy too. Come on. <laughs> yeah. No, those were no, those were the two hardest ones, dude. I thought Logan was gonna get Theo Ratliff because I talk about Theo Ratliff much in more obs- than the average in, human in being. Seen amount, bro. All right, gentlemen. Stefan Mar- uh, Marbury averaged twenty points per game for six seasons. Can you guys name the three players to average twenty points per game alongside him? Trust wow. me. Not Sprewell. That's not our guess. Not KG. He didn't actually average 20 in Minnesota. Yeah, so that's... So Marbury had to average 20. Together. Marbury yes. had to average 20, as did his teammate. Zach Randolph? I think... Not Zebo. Jamal Crawford. There it is. I think that's... Crawford one. was super close, dude. Oh, like wow. Point three points. Now I have no idea, and I'm sorry to all. So... Sean Marion. Sean Marion is correct. Okay, guys. there it is. Good I was job. thinking Suns. Yeah. Is that the only Sun? Uh, there's one more. Amare? Amare's correct. You guys I, got nice. one to go. And he played for the Nets, so maybe somebody on the Nets. Yeah. Had he did. Uh, but I feel like it's going to be a Nick. Is it Allen Houston? It was... It's not Allen Houston. Jamal Crawford was a good guess, Joel. That's who I thought it was going to be. This guy did it twice alongside Marbury. With the Knicks. Maybe. <laughs> I, I, Eddie Curry. Dude, I was thinking about Eddie Curry. It's not him. Uh, Vince Carter on the Nets? Nah, because I was a J kid. Yeah. Um. Wow, Kerry man. Kittles? Kerry Kittles is a phenomenal guest. It's not Kerry Kittles. That's a really good one, though. I think it's a Nick. I, I'm based on the the sheepish maybe that we got for sure. Al Harrington. Oh, oh good. Then I've thrown you guys off. Wait, this uh, this bro. He's. I want, dude. I'm trying to. I'm trying to push OT some somehow. You know, the lefties right, have to well, clutch up. Yeah, I'm with Logan here. I'm not. I'm not All offering right. any assistance. That's fine because there's zero chance that we don't get this. David uh, Lee. Not David Lee. Zero percent chance. Zero percent chance, man. Okay, dude. Uh, I'm just trying to think about the exact Nets years. Like, like RJ wouldn't have averaged twenty alongside Marbury. He was in. Uh, he was in New Jersey from '98 to '01. Right. Yeah, because he got traded to Phoenix for Jason Kidd. Too late for Derek Coleman. Crazy to me that he's putting up twenty and eight and twenty and nine, and he's not an all star early on. So it is the Nets. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Wow. My bad. I thought Keith Van Horn. Holy shit! It's Keith Van Horn. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Well Let's done, go, Joel. Joel. Damn, My lord. <laughs> Keith Van Horn, man, he's a legend. Okay. This question, I feel a little bit bad about because this is like. <laughs> this is gonna have to be all Logan. This is a kind of ridiculous question. All right, let's see I think I, can, I think uh... you should let Drew have the first couple of cracks no, at it. So ahead, yeah. couple, because like there's four dudes on this list, three and four, Logan. You are gonna have to push for, and this is your team, the Steelers, that we're talking about. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Four players on the 2005 Steelers had over a hundred rushing yards. Can you name them? Huh. All right, Jerome, I'm assuming. Yep. Big Ben, I'm assuming. Actually, no. He had 69. Nice. Okay. Heinz Ward. Nice. No, Heinz Ward had 10 rushing yards this year. 100. Let me clutch up. Let me let me. Let yeah, me yeah. Do you. Dead, do man. you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. We got we got Najee Davenport. Is he gonna be here? No. Not Najee. What about mm-hmm. Amos uh Zeroway? No. Wow, but Willie Parker. Keep, keep letting him fly. Willie yeah, he's Parker. number one. Very good. Yep. Willie, um, we're gonna have uh Deuce Staley. Number four. I got two more. No, you just got one more. Just one. Jerome, uh, Parker, and Do Staley. Staley. Uh, so this guy was the third most prolific rusher this year in Pittsburgh. Did he lead? Did he lead like there's like no, I mean any he, any single season? No. He had like 274 yards this year and basically the same the year before. Out of Georgia, 
He was 5'9", 222 pounds. And he was a running back. And he was a running back. I'm really pulling for you to get this because I would feel bad if it ended on this because this is probably the hardest question of the day. It's not Miguel De Moore, is it? No. I feel like there's... No, I feel like there's another running back from... Damn, you guys went through some running backs. I mean, Jerome carried us for a minute, but yeah, dude. Yeah, I wouldn't know their fourth string or third string, whatever no. it was. <laughs> no, this no. is this is this is an insane question, man. This is this is uh what's this guy's first name start with? V. That might give oh, it away. Damn, it does. That's exactly who it is. It's Veron Haynes. It's Veron Haynes. What the fuck? <laughs> that's a twist, that's a twisted trivia time question. That Are was we... that was yeah. fucked up. He, that got was crazy. he got it though. So at the end of the <laughs> he day, did. he just he looked did. sick. You do look sick, Logan. That's a f- that is a fact. Well done, bro. Jeez, dude. Good do work we... today, too, man. Yeah. All right. Do we end on a tie or do we want to go for a tiebreaker? I don't have one ready, but I could come up with one. It's I also whatever do we have want. One. We could come up with one real quick. I love absolutes. Okay. Okay. Let's we go gotta for figure it. Figure it out. You guys want to do a starting five? We'll do a starting five. Sure. All right, sure. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, gentlemen. Uh, we're gonna do a starting five to determine. Who comes out to, uh, on top here? I just went with the first team that I thought of. Guys, I need you to name me the starting five for the 2009 Portland Trailblazers. Okay. Brandon, Andre Miller, Nicholas Batum, Marcus Aldridge, Greg Oden. So you've got Roy Aldridge and Batum. Oden would be correct, but a center actually started more games than him that season. Not Camby. Not Camby. These are good guesses. Those are such good guesses. And Andre Jerry Miller's point guard. Uh, Andre Miller's not correct. You guys are missing point and center. Was it Jared Bayless? Jared Bayless. Damn, dude. I didn't know your Blazers bag went this deep, bro. Joel I, I came can't... out firing, dude. Not I'm pretty real, pumped Logan. up about it. I, no, no. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay. Dude, Bayless was on the bench. This was his rookie oh, season. Is Damn. it Raymond Felton? Not Felton. Thank God. <laughs> Could have sworn Andre Miller was on this team, man. Where Dude, was he? Bounced was... around so. Andre Miller was a funny. nugget, right? For for he a while. Been, yeah, that was his longest stint. But he played for the Cavs. He played for the Blazers. See, 2009, Andre Miller was chilling in Philly. Wow, though, dude. Philly. Facts. The exact next, the next two seasons, he'd be in Portland. Oh. Okay. Steve Blake. Oh, what the fuck? Yes. Let's Steve go. Steve Blake at the one. What the dude. fuck? Joel is all right. I need to get the five for you to get so the five. Contribute man. to this team, man. You need to get the five, man. Is it Spencer Halls at the five? Not Spencer Halls, dude. I should not have gone to the Blazers, man. I didn't know Joel was like this, dude. I no, Joel's just like this, bro. Don't make it about the Blazers. And you went to 2009, too. This is even more impressive to me. Okay, so he's a player that started over Greg Oden, and this was Greg Oden's rookie year. No, this was not Odin's rookie year. year. Uh, Odin started 39 games. This guy started 43. Oh, Damn it. It's so, it's just that is so close. Okay. He's got something in common. He's got something in common with one of you guys. Oh, is it Joel Anthony? Not Joel Anthony. It's Joel Prisbilla. You're disgusting. You're disgusting, bro. Ah, let's go. You're actually disgusting, bro. Oh, did he, did he wipe that? Did he wipe the whole start in five? Dude, that was, yes. Well done, bro. Do well. Appreciate it. Wow. Bro. Do all oh, pre- dude, wow. Bro. That was just nah, bro. That was crazy. That's that an all time trivia performance, dude. That really was a master class, Joel, bro. <laughs> I'm just because I'm telling you right now, Logan, seeing... if they give us a team before 2010, we lost. <laughs> okay. Here, I'll 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 go a little more recent then for you guys. Oh, let's cook. Dude, I'm glad I said that because now we might be okay. Okay, but I'm not going to go with a very good team because <laughs> I can I understand about, that. I thought about going with the 12 win uh, New Jersey Nets, but I didn't want to do that to you guys. <laughs> I could have probably guessed it, man. Devin yeah, Hill honestly, has, all you have to do is look to the right, Joel, right? Or am I wrong? Is that a different Nets team? There's a couple of players on here. Not all. Oh, dude. Joel Prisbilla, that, that was a hell of a performance. Okay, this team is too easy, I think. Maybe not, though. You know what? I'll I give mean, it to you guys. Let's 2014 see. Wizards, starting five. Okay, I'm just gonna assume Beal Wall. Yep. Okay, Marcin Gortat. 
Yep. All right. Three, Karam Butler. No. A- a Otto late. Porter. Uh, not a bad guess at all. I think not Otto was the Otto. year after. No, that, that was his rookie year, but he was hurt and he sucked. Nothing new, unfortunately. Is there a, <laughs> is there a Morris twin there? No. Ooh, not yet. Oh, that was yeah. a good guess. What about Martell Webster? Holy shit. Logan okay. started 13 games. It's not him, but like, good pull. I hear a holy shit. I'm thinking we got Chris, it. Now. Chris yeah, Singleton. I know. Sorry. That was just, oh, dude, you're no, no, definitely good guys of this era. Chris Singleton didn't start, but uh, he was certainly around. <sighs> Butler, I was hoping that Karan was there. He might have been on the Clippers at that point in time, though. I'm trying to think of 2K really badly right now. Dude, me too, bro. I'm on 2K14 <laughs> scrolling through my head right now. <laughs> That's why I thought the auto border pull was clutch. Yeah, I was like, I knew that was a, a good one. That was yeah. a really good one. All right, so we need the four and we need the three. Mm-hmm. Wow. <sighs> auto Porter was a good guess, man. Why is Ariza in my head? I'm just going to say Ariza. No, it's correct. Bang! Let's go. Let's go. But the toughest one we're missing the the four. Am am I gonna pull a Joel here? The four is crazy, dude. I'm still fired up on Joel Prisbilla. Like, yeah, Joel (laughs) Prisbilla. That is the highlight. And uh, let me not say that because we've had some crazy great moments here. No, dude, but that that was amazing. Yeah, dude, Joel Prisbilla is crazy. I looked at this roster, man. Nah, man. This fourth one is going to be really hard. Yeah. Oh, wait. We, we still get hints, Logan. All right. Don't forget we that. Got, we yeah, we get, got one. We get a hint. You get so one. Especially because it's overtime. I understand being strict here. And Joel just got Joel. And, and Joel cooked without. Yeah, that's it. I mean, well, that's we it. got one hint, too, though. We got the the name. The, the, yeah. Something the name. in common. So. This one got me. Yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking about John Lure right now, bro. I don't think that's right. No. Um, did da- David Lee was mostly a warrior. Yeah, not David Lee. Uh, yeah, Nene. he was. He was on this Warriors team. Is he it Nene? Really oh my God, Logan Nene started thirty. No, that's close. Seven games. So Kenneth, no, not Kenneth Fareed. Fareed played for the Nuggets and the and the Rockets. Nah, man, this guy is like a. The bottom barrel roster guy, bro. <laughs> and he started 40 some games for them. Yeah. I also just learned something about him that I actually cannot believe I didn't know before. So you know this guy. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay. <laughs> He's got a. I thought he was brothers with a very famous NBA player, but he's brothers with another dude who just happens to have the same name. But yeah, yeah, I know this guy. I can give you a hint. He played after the Wizards. He played for the Nets. Yeah, that's the hint I was going to give. Okay. Reggie Evans? Mm-mm. Good guess. Okay. You're in the vicinity. With the, with the Nets. Uh, Gerald Wallace is the name that comes to mind. Ooh. Is he no, not but you're saying Wallace. you're saying bottom you're saying bottom barrel. Is it Mirza Toledovic? Oh no. The Nets hints Chris a good Humphreys? one, man. It's not Chris Humphrey. No, fuck, fuck. Oh, I thought that a, was he it, was on dude. A roster, though. He was on the Wizards roster, though. Ironically, he was. Oh, that was a good or, guess. The year after this, he started oh, seventeen yeah. on the Nets. Okay, all right. Let's really break down this Nets team. Am I allowed to ask what year? I don't Jared want to use the Nets. Jared Dudley's not a horrible guess. This guy had one stop between Washington and Brooklyn. He went to Brooklyn for the 2016-17 season. He actually averaged the most points per game in his career when he was with the Nets. Okay. (laughs) That's not much. (laughs) And he's a a four. And he runs the four. Yeah. Yeah, This is a crazy way to tie break, man. This is a good tiebreaker. I can't even be upset at at this this team. There's some really good names here. You guys have had great guesses, like yeah. Nene, Martel Webster, Humphreys was close. All right, Ariza Wall, Beal, Marcin Gortat. Oh, 
on the Nets. Wow, I didn't know that. That was Carson. Yeah, learn about him. Wow, I didn't know that. But it's not. But it's not the guy. It's just another dude with that name. Oh, like okay. click on the link. It's just some dude who like never actually played. But yeah, wow. for a second right. I was like, what? All right, I want one more hint, guys. I need his ethnicity. He's black. <laughs> Doesn't help. All right. No. Um, okay. I'll give you. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. He was a first round pick in 2010. Damn. Now I'm thinking about Jan Vesely, bro. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> Unfortunately, does not meet the one hint that you just got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fair. <laughs> bro. That's hilarious. The Nets, the Nets is is throwing me off terribly because I can't think of anyone on that. You said that 25th, 2016, 2017 Nets, correct? Yes. Yeah. Bro, likely drafted by the Wizards too, man. 2016, 2017. That's where he started. Yeah, he played his first four years with the Wizards. He didn't get drafted by them. But yeah, he, but. He played only with the Wizards to begin his career. And you're saying this guy was mid. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. He is mid. He is mid. Big time. I'm assuming below mid. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, he. I, I'm just, and I'm assuming his highest points per game was what seven? Nah, three more than that. Oh, he averaged ten. Mm-hmm. Okay, but, but that was... this guy wasn't a bum. No, this guy had to be a bum. He wasn't great. He was all right. Ten points per game in the NBA. Shit. Yeah, but oh. for a twenty win team, you're right. No, you're 100 correct. You're 100 percent correct. Damn that twenty six that 2016 2017 team only won twenty games. You're 100 percent right. Yeah, they were bad. So I, I'll give you guys another hint. All right, this is the last hint I'm accepting, and then I for can the be power humble and four defeat. position, you can consider him undersized. Okay. Oh my God, is it is it Dewan or is it Dewan Wagner? Oh. No, no, no. You're it's thinking Dewan of Blair. Dewan, you're thinking no, it's not Dewan Blair. It's a good hint, dude. An undersized for. Yeah, that is a decent hint. Dewan Blair was undersized in one sense, but he was also a unit. <laughs> he was like 270. He was built. Oh, yeah. was it Andre Blotch? Oh, no, dude. That's such a great. And he also played for the Nets. Yeah, I know, dude. I, I, didn't Andre Blotch have like a 40 piece or something one time for the Nets? He had Maybe one he was, huge game, bro. He he was he was nicer than this dude. And he was a little earlier. But that's honestly, given the hints you have, pretty good guess. I met Andre Blotch in person. <laughs> really? All right. Another, another hint that they gave us. His brother is a very famous basketball player. No, his no. brother shares the exact name. That's of what, a very I'm, saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying. That's what I'm saying. Which means he shares a last name. Correct. 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 And he apparently is a dog. Undersized for. Interesting. Oh, I'm so angry right now. <laughs> yeah, dude, not like this, bro. This is actually like I think the first blown lead in trivia time history. Yeah, right? no, <laughs> we, we choked up three so one. Oh, guys, we were up three one. No, yeah. not yeah. like this. This is. <sighs> not like this. Now I'm stuck on the fam- very famous basketball player. Hmm. Is it last name Durant? Last name, got to start rattling these off, bro. Uh, I was thinking like O'Neal. Um, last name, Anthony? No. Nah. No, but it's like, it's got to be somewhat common if they share it with like a a, a shitty that's player. That's what I'm too. saying. Fa- that's why I'm trying to think. Very famous. Those are the ones that are just coming to my head. Uh, James? No. Nah. Um, Johnson? Um. Bryant, bro. Bryant's not a bad one. <sighs> Dude, I don't think I got it, man. I don't think so either, man. This hurts. <laughs> this hurts. This. Are we about to win? I think. I don't want to concede, but I feel like Dude, I, I think my to. final guess is Amir Johnson. 
It's not Amir Johnson. That's it's not a bad guess. It's Trevor Booker. Oh my gosh, bro. Trevor Booker, man. Would you have guessed that? Be honest, Logan. Oh no, dude. I was not pulling Trevor Booker right now. No way. Who, who is no who way. did you guys think he was related to? Devin? Devin Booker. His brother is named Devin Booker. Dude, the first ever 3-1 blown lead in, in trivia time history, man. That's it was a like, battle, man. I feel like shit right now. Yeah. <laughs> Joel, I mean, well done. Seriously, well, dude, well done. Joel, like, also well done. You thank you, man. Job. Well done to you guys. I Logan, swear. That was, that was a war, believe, dude. I can't believe we blew it, man. That was like, I don't know. We're pushing two hours now of battle, and Joel in the 12th round came up with Steve Blake and Joel Prisbilla. Like, that's just greatness, man. That's just a legacy moment. That was There's a nothing you can moment. do about that. You guys, thank you for coming on. This has Absolutely. been so much fun. Everybody go check them out. Pick a side podcast. They're on TikTok. Lots of good content there and listen to the full show. You guys, I know, go really long all the time. So maybe you're you're good for the marathons. But this was a marathon. Mm -hmm. This was a battle. And uh, <laughs> I think we can all respect each other as competitors. So thank you guys Absolutely. for coming on. Absolutely. Appreciate you guys having us on. Of course. So if you guys enjoyed this, then we're doing more trivia stuff on TikTok all the time at Nerd Sesh. You can also listen to our full show across audio platforms, and you can subscribe on the volume YouTube page to see our full shows with video there. You can also follow us across other socials, Twitter at Nerd underscore Sesh, Instagram at Nerd Sesh, and you can get some of that Nerd Sesh merch. Logan's wearing the shirt. We've got the flags behind us. We've got hoodies. We've got hats. So check all that out. But with that, as always, thank you again to the Pick Aside guys for coming on. I have been Carson Brabber. I've been Logan Camden. And this was Nerd Sesh. <laughs>